Hi, my name is Susan Palmer, and now I'd like to help you learn how to play the guitar. This lesson covers pages 36, 37, 38, 40, 42, and 43 in the Guitar Lesson Companion. If you don't already own the book, you can pick one up today at leadcatpress.com. I want to get you started with another warm-up exercise. This is called the 1234 Chromatic. It's on page 8 in your book, and I'm going to show you how to play it right now. It starts off on the lowest or thickest string, and I'm going to play 1, 2, 3, 4 in first position. <laughs> Next I'm going to move up to 5th position, that means that my 1st finger will be on the 5th fret. I'm going to play 1, 2, 3, 4 right here. Then I'm going to move up to ninth position and play 1, 2, 3, 4 there. Now I'm going to take the whole thing in reverse. 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm moving back to 5th position. 4, 3, 2, 1. And now I'm moving back to 1st position. 4, 3, 2, 1. I want you to practice that on all 6 strings. Now let's go over the notes on the D string. The D string is your fourth string, I'm on page 36 here. And up here you can see how D looks on the staff. And D is open, so there's no fingers. D will look and sound like this. This is what the note E looks like on the staff. E is played using your second finger on the second fret of that D string. E looks and sounds like this. And F looks like this on the staff. F is played using your third finger directly behind that third metal fret, again on the same string. F will look and sound like this. So one more time, we have open D, E, and F. I want you to study those notes, then I want you to complete the note identification worksheet on page 37. I want you to come back and read this section here on new rhythms. Now in this lesson, we're just going to be covering this first line right here. We're going to leave the second line and those dotted quarter notes for the B lesson. So I want you to read through this, make sure you understand it. I've got all the counting written in there for you, so you know how to play that. And I want to skip over to page 38, where I'm going to show you how to play the first line of this rhythm study. I'm going to turn my metronome on. One, two, three, four. 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 So I want you to play through that whole page there, counting out loud as you go through it. That way you really know that you know it. Then you're going to go over to page 40, where you have a reading study that's just using those notes D, E, and F. There's a CD track for it, so you can run through that. Hopefully it'll sound all right for you. Then I'm going to have you do the note identification worksheet on page 42. You might need to review some of those notes on the other strings for this, because this does use all four strings, all the notes that you know so far. So I want you to complete this, and then you can get started on page 43, which is all the notes that you have learned so far in a reading study. So there's a CD track for it. It goes kind of fast, so I want you to be able to take this line by line, slowly with the metronome, and then work your tempo up, and then try it with the CD. A good strategy might be to try to play the whole page at 60 beats per minute. Once you can do that, move it up to about 65, and then once you can do that, try it with the CD. The, the objective is to go very, very slow. That way you can master all of those transitions between those strings. It's quite challenging, if you're not kidding my drift here. Um, and after you complete this, you can play a whole lot of songs. So I want to make sure that you are playing those songs. Again, message me if you need a, a, a suggestion for a songbook or ask your teacher for one. So you've got a big assignment here, and I hope you work hard, have fun, and thank Thanks.